Yeah, I got three entries, May 1990. It's not there. According to this, the judge in the case ordered the money back to the bank after trial. Did you call the bank? Bluegrass Savings and Loan went under in 1992, part of the SNL crisis. And again, as my friend at the FBI says, none of the serial numbers from the stolen bills have been seen for 20 years. Just disappeared? Well, maybe someone at the bank socked it away. Maybe it was never sent. The judge gave the order. Oh, they give the order all the time. That doesn't mean it happens. It just falls through the cracks. I got a great big box of counterfeit Beanie Babies over here. Been ordered out of here. It's still sitting here. You could call the judge. It was Judge Reynolds. Mm. Oh. Hmm? Oh. He died three years ago. What was the case number? Yeah, while we're down here, we might as well make sure. Uh, one nine nine zero zero five three four one nine two four two. One of the old ones in the back. Well, let's open it up. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> two four two. Round of drinks as it's empty. Sure, I'll take that bet. Two hundred ten thousand dollars in forgotten money. We should run off to Mexico, start a cult. What are we doing here? Man? I feel like a Raldo Rivera right before they open Al Capone's vault. Damn! Don't tell me you're too young to know who that is. Now I really feel like a Raldo in front of Al Capone's vault. <laughs> well, Rachel, I guess you should call your friends at the Phoebe and see if they want to pursue this any further. Will do. Should I lock it up? Yeah, we're done, Charlie. Huh? Pay up, sucker.